Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard products number 321. This is an aluminum half saddle threshold, is what it is. This piece, or this extrusion, can be used in different variations of its profile. It could be a half saddle like it is now. It could be a bump up threshold as well if you were to insert a piece of silicone or something like that into the face of it, or it could be used as a component piece uh, if you were building, say, a thermal break threshold as well. They could insert a rigid piece of thermoplastic in here and uh, add another piece to it so that you can have a thermal break sort of threshold. But the 321 is just a simple plain old half saddle threshold is what this is. Let me go over the dimensional properties of it. There is an image below this video showing that it is two inch wide and that its height is half of an inch. This is going to be used basically to transition between two disparate floor surfaces. A common place that you'll see such a thing is where you have a... You could have a scenario where there is a parking garage and there's just simply a, a, an uneven floor surface and you want to transition that uh, up to say a a vestibule area, you could easily add something like this. Or maybe that same scenario in a gas station where your tile has come up basically to right underneath the door or maybe even past and you need to transition from the sill where the door will actually reside over to the tile um, line, of, line of tile that's been added. So that would be another relatively common scenario. Or you might just need to trim something off. You might have a sliding patio door and the sill to the deck, let's say, in the back is off a half of an inch. This could work very well for that scenario. Really when you're transitioning is, is the bottom line, and half inch is fairly common uh, in terms of the dimensional properties to do that. This is the mill aluminum finish, and you will see the mill aluminum finish in uh, several uh, applications, and onto this uh, you can also do a dark bronze, so if you had a 321 and you added DKB to it, you'd have a dark bronze version of this uh, half saddle threshold. Okay? This is just literally a 6 inch sample piece for purposes of this video, and they've even included that one countersink or the dimple that would be there, and then a screw to show uh, what would be standard in terms of fasteners to come with this threshold from the factory. Now this is listed in the site in lots of different lengths, everything from 2 foot to 8 foot, and we can special order for you lengths longer than 8 foot, it's just we don't list them because the cost to ship is generally an obstacle when it comes to uh, need it because of its length needing to ship common carrier. Now you can also order this in custom lengths, you simply order the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field the net length you want us to have it cut back to, and that's how we'll supply it. And if it's over eight foot, reach out to us. We'll be happy to work up a quote for you for longer lengths uh, with, uh, with shipping charges as well. If you were to order the next longest piece or pieces and indicate that net length in the comment field, we're not only going to give you that clean factory cut, but we'll give you that first countersink or dimple at the proper distance from the edge. And then, of course, the proper center to center as well, which is uh, important uh, that you have uh, countersunk holes because the fasteners that are included and really anything that you're going to use are flat head. Generally when someone field trims a threshold or cuts it, let's say if you had to take a four foot threshold and turn it into a 42 inch, you'll certainly eliminate that first countersink that's there, which is not ideal because be probably not a challenge to cut this or to drill a hole for a screw, but sometimes the installer has trouble countersinking the hole because they do not actually have a countersink that big nor a drill bit large enough to act as a countersink. So keep in mind that if you were to order that next longest piece, we'll give you that flat, that countersunk hole to receive the flathead screw because you really want the screw properly seated because a threshold is going to take a lot of force this way, a lot of lateral force as well, and over time if you've got an improperly fastened threshold, it's just going to work the fastener loose with those forces that are acting on it. So. Keep in mind, again, if you order the next longest piece, we'll not only give you the uh, proper length, but the proper location for that first countersink sunk hole, 
in the proper center to center as well. There's a link below this video to a document called Product Brochure where you can view not only all of the National Guard uh, half saddle thresholds that are all very common in this uh, uh, area, different heights, different widths as well. So that's handy because it will allow you to see those different items and get those part numbers. Let's say you might be looking for, you know what, the two inch is actually a bit too small. I'll go with the three inch. Okay, well you can see that the part number there is 322 rather than 321. Okay. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the National Guard products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Please feel free to reach out to us, and thank you very much.